In the last lecture, we saw the properties of Nyquist rate and now we will solve some problems using those properties. And in this lecture, we will solve the problem number one. And in problem number one, we need to calculate the Nyquist rate in radians per second and also in hertz. In radians per second means we need to calculate omega s and we know omega s is equal to twice of omega m and in hertz means we need to calculate fs and we know fs is equal to twice of fm or you can calculate fs using omega s and we know fs is equal to omega s divided by 2 pi therefore we will focus on calculation of omega s and once we have omega s we will calculate fs using this the message signal mt is equal to 2 sin 4 pi t multiplied to cos 2 pi t and we will first calculate omega m so that we can calculate omega s and fs to calculate omega m which is the maximum frequency component of the message signal we need to express message signal as the sum of two signals like x1t plus x2t but here in this case we have mt as the product of two signals so let's try to obtain mt as the sum of two signals we know two times sin a multiplied to cos b is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b in our case we are having two times sin 4 pi t this means 4 pi t is equal to a multiplied to cos 2 pi t this means 2 pi t is equal to b so using this we can write our message signal equal to equal to sine sine a plus b this means 4 pi t plus 2 pi t plus sine a minus b 4 pi t minus 2 pi t 4 pi t minus 2 pi t solving this we will get the message signal equal to sine 6 pi t plus sine 2 pi t now we will focus on calculating omega m which is a very simple process to calculate omega m we need to compare the angular frequencies we are having in the two signals in the first signal sine 6 pi t the angular frequency is equal to 6 pi let's say omega 1 is the angular frequency it is equal to 6 pi radians per second and for the second signal the angular frequency let's say omega 2 is equal to 2 pi radians per second and when you compare them you will find omega 1 is greater than omega 2 this implies omega m is equal to omega 1 and it is equal to 6 pi radians per second from here it is very easy to calculate omega s because omega s is simply 2 times omega m omega m 6 pi omega s 12 pi radians per second and now we will calculate fs fs is equal to omega s divided by 2 pi omega s is equal to 12 pi radians per second this is having the units radians per second and this is having the units radians 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 will cancel out and we are getting the units 1 over second and 1 over second is equal to hertz so finally we are getting fs equal to 6 hertz the nyquist rate in radians per second is equal to 12 pi and the nyquist rate in hertz is equal to 6 so this is how you solve the question but we can use the property we have seen in the previous lecture according to the property we saw if there is a message signal mt and it is equal to the product of two signals m1t and m2t 
and signal M1T is having the Nyquist rate equal to omega S1 and signal M2T is having the Nyquist rate equal to omega S2 and if we want to calculate the Nyquist rate of signal MT, let's say omega S, then omega S is equal to sum of omega S1 and omega S2. So the only thing we need to do in this question is to calculate the Nyquist rate of sine 4 pi t and cos 2 pi t, which is a very simple process. To calculate the Nyquist rate of sine 4 pi t, we need to calculate omega m. And in this case, calculation of omega m is pretty simple because there is only one frequency. So omega m is going to be 4 pi, let's call it omega m 1. Similarly, for cos 2 pi t, cos 2 pi t, again we have only one frequency 2 pi. So omega m2 is equal to 2 pi. And from here we will get omega s1, the Nyquist rate of the first signal equal to 2 times omega m1, which is equal to 8 pi radians per second. And from here we will get omega s2 equal to 2 multiplied to 2 pi, which is 4 pi radians per second. Now simply add omega s1 and omega s2. You will get omega s, which is the Nyquist rate of mt. This is equal to 8 pi plus 4 pi. Finally, you will get omega s equal to 12 pi radians per second, which is same as this result. So you can see that using the property, we can easily calculate the answer in a very less time. Now we will move on to the homework problem. And in the homework problem, the message signal is equal to cos 200 pi t multiplied to cos 100 pi t. And you need to calculate the Nyquist rate in hertz. So this is the homework problem. Try to solve it on your own. And once you have your answer, post it in comment section.